Okay, this is the how to win a chess game. No airs, no graces. Yes, it is the answer process, but today, right here, right now, we're going to show how to win a chess game. I'm going to play a five minute zero casual game. So we have all the concepts, we have all the ideas. We're now just going to blast through this game here and we're going to win. Let's see this person's okay, it's nothing there, so they could be playing loads of casual games. Let's just attack the pawn as we do. We're here to win this game. Okay, no messing about. And let's castle. And let's bring this bishop back here now. Let's just develop, make sure we give space for the bishop as we do. And let's attack the bishop. And let's attack the bishop again. And bring the knight through, defending the knight. Let's attack the bishop. Let's attack the pawn. Let's take this pawn off the board. Couldn't take with this one because obviously he would have lost his rook. Let's attack the bishop. Let's attack the bishop again. There's a key thing here that we could potentially do. I was looking to attack his knight, but let's take this pawn off. It's gone with the queen. Okay, let's attack this knight, like we said. I thought the knight would have been happy coming here attacking the bishop. So it does take. Let's capture with the queen. Okay, so we're getting close to causing some damage ooh okay that's nice I don't think we have time to be fancy you know we're not going to get the queen here to then come here to go here because if we go there his bishop can come here quite nicely so we may as well just take the rook off the board. See if there's an exchange, because he's on our pawn. There's no exchange, but the rook is in the corner of the thing, so I'm just wondering if we take, then obviously he drops the pawn, his queen's coming down for a checkmate here, so we have to be mindful of that. Can we defend against that? We take. He drops the pawn and it's blocking our queen. He blocks the pawn, he drops his pawn. We can push here. Okay, let's do that. He drops the pawn, or maybe he does a non pass on thing though. If we go here, then he goes there. But then at least our king can maybe move a bit. He's still going to get the bishop in, isn't the queen on? If we did a small move. Queen comes down with a check. We come up. Bishop comes down with a check. Move across. Horns down with a check some sort of weird combination going on there hmm do, 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 do. if we do that I think that's more if the pawn does take knight can take then it's protecting okay let's go with that one first
it's one of those crazy ones where if you lose your head you know because you feel like you gain advantage and then they're slyly trying to get like a checkmate on you so it looks like it slowed them down for a bit it's attacking the knight we are up the exchange in a sense he's blocked his way could bring the knight here protecting the area but then at the same time he's going to take the pawn so we could attack but then his queen's coming down supporting the pawn yeah he's going to take our pawn here it's not looking as good as we originally thought then he's supporting this pawn coming down our queen's did what's happened oh he's got a check on the king he's got a discover check having to be very careful here now this is suddenly coming out with let's uh, go here sharp stuff coming out with sharp stuff still trying to work his way into here I don't think that was the best because he's still taking. Sorry, he's still taking here and he's coming here. Oh, he's taking with the bishop. Time's running out. I'm having to seriously concentrate. This is um, looking a bit tight. Oh, nice one. Whoosh! Ah, that was um, the one we wanted to win. We said we wanted to win the game. We focused on winning. And positionally, I mean, it, the, the opponent was fighting back well. You know, it was like, man, I had to think of something all the time. But I think the, the catalyst, the starter for the whole process was we, we definitely just said we wanted to win. We wanted to focus on how to win the game. Utilising basically the answer process. But threw all that out of the window and we just said we're going to show how to win a game of chess. And we explained all of the moves anyway so I don't really need to break anything down. We're attacking a, a higher piece with a lesser piece defending our knight, developed our knight off the back attacking a higher piece with a lesser piece attacking um, the pawn, it's a, it looks like a nice position for us to be attacking because capturing here, we're hoping that they're going to capture with this pawn because then our rook would be able to take their rook off the ball for free but that dishevels their position a little bit and it does give us a little bit of strength towards that area smallest of detail so a smaller piece attacking a higher piece again can't be wrong and again we're attacking the bishop and we grab with the uh, queen so we take this pawn off the board we did think that they were going to take with the knight actually because the knight would have been on the bishop but um, that was okay for us so bringing the knight off the back looking to attack his knight and it does grab so we grab with the queen gauge bars on our side at this moment um, but I'm not looking at the gauge bar being on my side I want to feel comfortable with the position and as you know I can feel comfortable with the position that shows the opposition in the eval bar <clears throat> um, absolutely out and out winning and I'll challenge that so they gave us this nice position here um, which we took advantage of as best possible and it's, this computer is saying c5 smaller piece attacking a higher piece which would be the pawn attacking the queen when you're in this mode you don't think i i definitely wasn't thinking like that at all because at the end of the day i'm taking a piece off the board a higher piece off the board so we'll up the exchange but in reality i did want to try and fashion some sort of attack process here I wonder if this helps us so I'm going to go through what they're suggesting C5 so then 
B takes there. Uh, knight takes the. Ooh, what's this? Knight E5. Ooh, Knight E5. Look at that. Look at that fork potential. So it's saying Queen C3 is the better one. Bishop takes F1. So it's eventually taken there anyway. That takes. But then we have the. Actually, it's then saying B4. Oh no, it's going too far now. But it has brought in the knight to potentially come here, but the queen is defending. Um, do you know, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> no, I'm not happy with it. Knight may be coming here. <sighs> queen could come here, put a check on. So it's okay-ish, but I'm not really... I like the idea of, okay, taking that focal point away a little bit from taking the rook because I did really want to keep it balanced around here but it still ended up taking the rook anyway. So pushing here, so it's a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. I'm going to have to utilise that, I think. Takes. takes but then it's sitting here so then obviously if he did take the pawn then we would go for the fork so then it's saying c3 now it's this bit here whether taking that or not I mean I can't go here because he's protecting um, is there anything else forget what the computer is saying mm. If we squeezed here, no, it comes back again to that bishop being able to block here. Yeah, again, can't do that. So if this bishop came, ooh, hoo, hoo, that doesn't like that. I was thinking of trying to get this around here, and but that's not going to work either. Okay, so definitely the exchange is for us for some reason I do like the knight being here but at the same time we do have this sort of stuff so that winning the tempo with the pawn push up allows me to get this type of position but is there a finish to it really that's the problem I've got I mean we've got the knight coming here but then what? where does it go That's saying King E2. What facing the kick, uh, Queen? Ooh, I don't think humans would do that. They'd jump back here, wouldn't they? Wouldn't jump in front of the Queen. They'd be there. Uh, is this B4 business? No, I don't. Okay, if the pawn takes, the rook takes. Blah blah blah. Yeah, okay, that's going too far now. So just the initial attack of the smaller piece attacking a higher piece the pawn attacking the queen wins me a bit of tempo to develop another piece okay good stuff and that's how to win a chess game <laughs>